Welcome everyone. Today, I'm presenting the evolution of NVIDIA's kernel authoring tools. From complex C++ template metaprogramming to Python native development, this is crucial for any engineer working on GPU-accelerated applications. Modern GPU architectures are incredibly complex. Tensor cores, asynchronous memory operations, thread block clusters. Each generation adds new features. Writing optimal kernels traditionally requires weeks of development, deep CUDA expertise, and slow compilation cycles. This creates a bottleneck for innovation. Here's what kernel developers traditionally manage. Tensor core operations, five levels of memory hierarchy, thread scheduling across warps, asynchronous memory operations, mixed precision computation, block scale data types, and architecture specific optimizations. A single custom kernel can take 40 to 60 hours of expert development time. Cutlass began in 2017 as an open source project for decomposing gem operations. Version 2 added mixed precision support and specialized for Turing and Ampere. Version 3 in 2022 introduced the revolutionary Qt abstraction layer. And version 4 in 2024 brought Python DSL, making peak performance kernel development accessible to Python developers. Cutlass 1.0 and 2x established the foundation with hierarchical decomposition. Operations cascade from device level down to thread level, mirroring how modern GPUs actually execute. This achieved 95% of Kubla's performance while allowing customization. However, the C++ template metaprogramming required deep expertise. While powerful, Cutlass 2 had significant friction. Dozens of template parameters, 5 to 10 minute compile times, cryptic error messages, and implicit thread to data mappings. We realized we needed not just incremental improvements, but a fundamental reconceptualization of how kernel authoring works. Cutlass 3.0 introduced Qt. CUDA templates for efficient tensor operations. This was a paradigm shift. Instead of hardware-centric abstractions, Qt centers on mathematical structure. Layout algebra describes how logical coordinates map to physical memory. Tensors combine memory pointers with layouts and types. Atoms represent hardware operations. This abstraction works across architectures. Let's break down the core concepts. Layouts describe coordinate-to-memory mappings algebraically. Tensors combine a memory pointer, a layout, and a data type. Atoms represent hardware operations like tensor core MMA instructions. Tiles compose atoms across warp and thread block hierarchies. These primitives are simple but incredibly powerful when composed. Qt provides four game-changing benefits. Architecture independence. The same code works across DPU generations by swapping atom definitions. Compile time verification catches layout mismatches before runtime. Composability lets you build complex kernels from simple primitives and reduced cognitive load. One layout abstraction replaces dozens of specialized iterator types. Cutlass 4.0 brings us to the Python DSL revolution. Qt DSL combines C++ template power with Python productivity. This isn't a wrapper. It's a full domain-specific language that compiles Python directly to optimized CUDA kernels using MLIR infrastructure, released in beta late 2024, with production release scheduled for summer 2025. Qt DSL delivers six critical features, JIT compiler compilation in seconds, not minutes, full hardware control, you're not giving up low-level access, type safety through inference and promotion, seamless DL pack integration with ML frameworks, native compatibility with PyTorch, JX, and TensorFlow tensors, and automatic compilation catching for production deployment. Here's what Qt DSL looks like in practice. You write Python with the Qt kernel decorator. Type hints use Qt tensor types. This is actual kernel code, not a wrapper calling C++ behind the scenes. The DSL parses this Python and compiles directly to optimize PTX assembly. The kernel body uses Qt primitives. Allocate shared memory with Qt alloc underscore shared. Invoke tensor core operations with Qt dot. Gem. Fuse activation functions directly here. A Arrayalu with Qt dot max. No separate kernel launches. No memory round trips. Everything is fused into one optimized kernel. Performance numbers speak for themselves. On Blackwell B200. 
Python DSL achieves 98% of handwritten C++ cut last performance for FP16 matrix multiplication. But look at development time. Rock CUDA takes 40 to 60 hours. C++ cut last takes 10 to 15 hours. Python DSL takes just 3 to 5 hours. That's an 8 to 12 times reduction in development time with minimal performance cost. Compilation speed is where Python DSL truly shines. Cut last two weeks took 5 to 10 minutes to compile a single kernel. Version 3 improved to 2 to 4 minutes. Python DSL with JIT compilation, 2 to 5 seconds. That's a 100x improvement in iteration speed. You can experiment, profile, and optimize dozens of times in the time it used to take for one compilation. Qt DSL fits into a rich Python GPU ecosystem. For high-level operations, use QPy or framework built-ins. For rapid prototyping, Numba and Triton offer good balance. For peak performance with explicit control, Qt DSL and Cutlass C++ deliver. All these tools interoperate via DLPack, so you can mix and match based on your needs. Let's get practical. Week 1. Profile your workloads with Insight Systems. Identify bottlenecks, kernels taking more than 10 milliseconds, multiple kernel launches that could be fused, custom operations not in existing libraries. Install the tools with pip. Clone the Cutlass examples repository. This sets your foundation. Weeks 2 and 3. Experiment with examples. Don't write from scratch. Modify existing code. Change tile sizes. Adjust data types. Add custom operations. Profile everything with Insight Compute to understand performance characteristics. Always validate correctness against NumPy or PyTorch reference implementations. Weeks 4 to 6. Production deployment. Package your kernels as Python modules with proper structure. Build unit tests for correctness and performance benchmarks. Enable JIT caching for production use. Monitor kernel performance to catch regressions. By week 6, you have production ready custom kernels delivering peak performance. Qt DSL excels in four major domains, custom AI kernels, flash attention variants, fuse transformer layers, scientific computing, custom stencil operations and sparse solvers, computer vision, fused preprocessing pipelines and custom convolutions, recommendation systems, embedding aggregation and feature interactions, any workload needing peak GPU performance with fast iteration. Real case study. A customer needed specialized attention for their transformer architecture with sliding window patterns, relative position bias, and custom masking. Using Qt DSL, they completed development in two days versus an estimated three weeks in Rock CUDA, achieved 92% of theoretical peak performance. Fast compilation enabled testing over 50 iterations. Result, 10x faster time to production. Architecture support overview. Blackwell requires open kernel modules and has full DSL support. Hopper and Ampere use open modules by default with experimental DSL support being optimized. Edda Loveless is fully supported. Turing has basic support. Volta and earlier architectures are not supported. For production deployments, target Edda Loveless or newer for best experience. 2025 brings production release of Qt DSL. Enhanced support for Hopper and Ampere and tighter PyTorch integration. 2025 to 2026 adds domain-specific DSLs for vision, graphs, and sparse operations, plus automatic kernel fusion and AI-guided optimization. Beyond 2026, we're exploring unified multi-GPU programming, cross-platform backends, and community-driven extensions. The vision, democratize peak performance GPU programming. Five key takeaways. First, Cutlass has evolved dramatically from C++ template metaprogramming to Python native development. Second, Qt abstractions enable writing code once that works across GPU architectures. Third, Python DSL delivers 98% of peak performance with 10x faster development time. Fourth, JIT compilation completes in seconds, enabling rapid iteration. Fifth, this is production ready today for modern GPU architectures. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope this presentation has shown you how Cutlass and Qt DSL are transforming GPU kernel development, making peak performance accessible to every engineer, not just CUDA specialists.